in this video i will demonstrate how to set up a aws storage gateway so what is aws storage gateway so it is a feature is given by aws services which is also known as a hybrid cloud storage services which can be accessed from our on premise data center or on premise network so we can basically use a storage gateway for the storage management and reduced costing of your hybrid cloud storage use cases just take an example if we have a particular bucket and i want that bucket to be accessed by a number of users from my on premise data center or on premise network so i can use a aws storage gateway which includes so you can move your backup from your on premise to the cloud solution or you can share the files which you have on on premise and use the aws s3 bucket as a file sharing server so this is a feature given by a aws storage gateway so what are the key features we have it is a very easy to deploy and it is very fast to deploy so it manages standard storage protocol which are nfs smb iscsi and iscsi vtl so it's a fully managed cache system so local gateway appliances can cache in the return and read only mode so it can be easily integrated with the aws s3 bucket which we can use for to store uh, any particular file to backup any particular file up from our on premise to our aws s3 solution so we can also use uh, this feature with the vmware high availability if you have a very good solution of vmware infrastructure so you can use this feature for your on premise data center so types of gateways we have number one is a file gateway which we can use for the file sharing services and it's used the protocol called nfs and smb number two a tape gateway which we can use for the virtual tape library which use the uh, standard protocol called iSCI iSCSI protocol number third is a volume gateway it is for the presentation of application block storages which used by a iSCSI protocol so for example if you want to back up any of your data as a snapshot so you can use a volume gateway feature so how it works so on the left hand side you can see there is a, a column of on premise and on the right side you can see the feature of s3 bucket so under the on premise we can use for the failing falling types like a backup application database backup and file share for the file gateway if you have any application server so which you dedicated want to migrate to our s3 solution so you can use the volume cache then third one is we have a tape gateway library which is for your backup application for just take example of vm backup if you have a uh, conis backup if you have any type of backup third party backup you can integrate with them and you can backup your data to aws s3 storage so so this is a small storage gateway scenario which i am discussing with you so we'll do the practical on this on the on premise i have linux machines and windows machine and i want to share a s3 bucket with all my different type of operating system with linux machine and windows machine so my users can put the data and get the data from the same bucket so for that let's log in to our aws solution so you need to go to the search find and you can search storage gateway so now let's start with the implementation click on get started so you need to select a gateway type so today i am demonstrate a file gateway next so this is the host platform for example you have a microsoft environment which you have a hyper v so you can select a microsoft hyper v if you have a server from linux kvm virtual machine you can select it if you want to use amazon ec2 as a gateway so you can select a amazon ec2 for today's practical i am using the vmware esxi then i click on download the image so it will download the image with the name of dot ava now the ovf template is downloaded on my computer so i am using a vmware workstation 12 version to implement the storage gateway so what i'll do i'm just opening the vmware workstation i'll click on file click on open and i will select a aws storage gateway latest.ova file so you can give any name so i'll giving a aws storage 
or I can give a name to storage gateway. and click import so it will take some time to import the image once it imported it will restart your OVF template now the OVF template is imported to our VMware workstation we will edit some settings so we will click on edit virtual machine settings and we will add an extra hard disk to particular this OVF template or you can say a machine click on add yes hard drive next recommended is as 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 is next so to create a virtual disk I select a 80 GB you can select any number so this is a disk where you will store all the data so for this data or this drive will sync or cache with your AWS S3 storage gateway solution click on finish ok and then power on this virtual machine it will take some time to power on now your machine is power on let's log into our AWS appliance the username is admin and the password is a password so once you log in you will see a number of options number one is the ethernet IP which is assigned to this particular appliance is 192.168.153.150 which we will use to connect with our AWS storage gateway so again you can see a number of settings number one is the HTTP socket proxy configuration the number two the network configuration if you want to test a network connection you can use the option called a three option then you can manage your system time management and license information and command prompt so we'll select the option called two if you want to change the settings of your network card click on two and you can see there are number of sub options if you want to configure for this for a DHCP if you want to assign a static IP address you can choose any of the options otherwise you can exit so now let's log into our or let's go back to our AWS console so now after the downloading of our ESXi image and we have implemented the appliance we will go to next and the service endpoint so right now I'm using the public service endpoint because I'm not using any dedicated VPC so I'll leave this as a default click on next so here I need to give the IP address of the our AWS appliance which we have set up on our local VMware workstation I'll go going back to my VMware workstation the IP address is 192.168.153.150 so I'll put it here and I click on connect to our gateway it will take some time to connect so once it connect it will ask for the activation so region our AWS region is Asia Pacific so you can select the gateway time zone to Asia Pacific only so I'm selecting GMT plus 530 Bombay Calcutta region and the gateway name I can give to uh, Asia storage or I can give my company name think IT storage and tags I can select storage Asia type local cache or local storage you can give any tag name as per your requirement or as your company policies then click on activate this gateway it will take some time to activate the gateway So now your gateway is activated it will identify the drives which you have set up on AWS appliance it is preparing our local disks okay now your local hard drive is detected by a storage gateway which we have implemented in our AWS appliance so we'll select allow to cache or unallocate it we we'll select the cache one 
and click on configure login so if you want to create a log group for this particular storage gateway you can select it otherwise you can disable it for the timing so we can recreate after we set up all the things on storage gateway so right now i'm using a disable login and click on exit so now you can see my storage gateway id sgw0208 echo fish 6b is up and running so now what I have need to configure is a file share. So I'll click on create a file share. So I'll just exit from here. So you have three options. Click create a file share from this, create a volume or create a tapes. So right now I'll click on create a file share. And if you have already have the S3 bucket, you can use that same S3 bucket or you can create a new S3 bucket also. So I want to create a new one. So what I'll do, I'll go to the services and I click on S3. So I'll create a new bucket for my local users, which I have in in-house. I'll give a bucket name, think it on premises. The region is Asia Pacific. Next, next, next and I will create this bucket. So I will use this bucket which is known as Think I Think, think IT on promise for my storage gateway. So I'll copy it from here. I'll give the name. My file share name is also Think IT on promise. If I want to give a dedicated name like uh, uh, cloud storage, I can give that. Otherwise, I will leave as a default one. So I'm giving a cloud storage. So how you want that object of this particular S3 bucket can be accessed. You can use a SMB server message block or you can also use a NFS. So NFS is also supported by a Linux operating system, Mac operating system or also supported by a Windows operating system. So I'm using this one. Then you need to select the gateway. So right now I have only one gateway. So I'm selecting Think IT storage gateway. So if you want to select an automated cache refresh from S3 after you can select the days otherwise leave as a default click next so it will validate all the settings and last thing we need to set up here how you want to store a data you want to store a standard or intelligent theory or standard ia or s3 one zone so by default it's always select s3 intelligent tying so i'm selecting the same one leave as a default and i will leave all the option default it will create a new role automatically if you want to create yourself, you can also create and use the existing one. Otherwise, leave as a default. It will create a role. I am role for this S3 bucket automatically. And it is by default using a S3 managed key encryption. So that means the data you are copying to the S3 storage gateway or AWS appliance or using NFS is always an encrypted one. So you don't need to worry about the data encryption. Click next. You can select or you can recheck the settings then create a share profile so it will create a profile it will create a im role then it will create a file share for yourself so you can see the file share is already created so you can select the file sharing and you can see down how to connect for the different operating system on linux microsoft windows or linux so i will copy uh, this command this is a command to map nfs drive on your windows operating system so i'll copy it from here I'll go to my command prompt, right click, then after space, I have to give the drive name. So it should be on the capital side. So right now I'm giving E drive, then double colon, enter. So you can see E is now successfully connected to IP address 192.168.153.150 colon backslash cloud storage. Cloud storage is our file share name, which we have created on our AWS S3 storage gateway. So what I'll do, I'll go to my Windows Explorer and you can see the cloud storage drive is mapped on my computer. So now I can open it. I can copy any, any data. I can use this drive for my file sharing services. So what I'll do, I have some file which is a doc, uh, Excel file. I'll copy it from here. 
then now i then copy on my cloud storage so after few minutes few second it will automatically automatically sync with my aws s3 bucket so it will take some time to sync so you need to be patient on this case so next is if i want to map this drive with my linux operating system again the command is already given so i can use the same command copy it from here so i already have a linux machine so you can see it's a centos 7 so what i'll do i'll copy the command and i'll mount this particular nfs share to my opt drive next i'll go to my opt folder i can see the linux server cloud hardening file which i have created copied for my windows machine i can able to see under here in under my linux machine again if i want to create any folder from here with the name of data so i can see this folder sorry i can see this folder in my windows drive also so let's again go back to my windows explorer i just go back come again i can see the data folder so you here this is the way you can use the storage gateway as a file sharing server so let's go back to aws console under the s3 management console i'll just refresh my bucket and i can see one folder and one excel file which i have created and which i have copied from my linux and windows operating system operating system so this is the way you can use your s3 storage gateway for your file sharing server so let's go back to storage gateway under the storage gateway you can edit the permissions of your gateway system if you want to set up a cloud watch matrix you can set up it if you want to set up any alarm related to a storage gateway you can click it here and set up it if you want to configure a health log so you can create a log group for this okay so you can create a new log group of this particular gateway so i have created a log group for this particular gateway which is known as thick id storage so this is the way you can set up a storage gateway if you have multiple departments who are using the or using their operating system called linux or windows operating system so they can centralize share you can centralize share your bucket with all the users so you don't need to create a single uh, username or access key or secret key for all the users in the department so you can use the storage gateway feature as a file sharing server so in this video i have demonstrated how we can set up a gateway how we can create a storage gateway how we can set up a file share how we can set up on our windows operating system and on linux operating system so thanks for watching this video please like share and subscribe